Hey guys, and welcome to FaithWorks Designs. I'm Faith, and today we are so excited to finally show you guys the Howler. So, let's get started. All right, now we're going to make our zipper pockets actual zipper pockets. Because right now you're like, Faith, that is not a pocket. You would be correct. However, we're going to go ahead and we're going to make it a pocket. But first, you're going to need a couple of tools. I've got my little marking tool here that I'm going to use to kind of make my box that's going to show me exactly where I need to sew. I have got my ruler. Now what we're going to do, we're going to flip our first panel. This is the one that has our magnets in it. This is our letter panel, okay? We're going to put it right side with right side of our next panel. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna try really hard to match these up as close as you can. The bottoms, the sides, everything, you're gonna try and match them up pretty well. Down here at the bottom, I'm gonna go ahead and put some clips just to kind of make everything stationary. All right, here, here we go. Anybody else take their kids to go see Mario? So you're gonna to wanna to make a mark four and a half inches down. Um, I'm not going by my zipper. My zipper is sticking up a little bit more. I'm going by the edge of my fabric right here. And we're gonna mark four and a half inches. I'm probably gonna just mark like a couple of inches just in the middle so I know where it's at because we need to make our side marks first. But I wanted you to know where to like stop. <laughs> Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my ruler and I'm gonna measure up one inch. So from our corners, we need to meet up this line. So I'm just going to kind of hand draw it as straight as I can. It may not be straight. Who knows? One inch on this side, four and a half this side. Then we're going to do one inch on the other side. I was going to say, hopefully my head is not in frame. And then we're going to just kind of meet everything up together. If you want, you can just kind of make your one inch mark as far as you can and then put your ruler back down to make sure that it's straight. All right, now that we've got that, we don't want this to move because we're going to have to take it to the sewing machine and we have got a lot of layers that are kind of their weight. All of this over here is going to be a bunch of weight on what you're trying to sew. So I'm going to put clips onto the sides and I'm trying to make sure that my sides are all even. So nothing's overlapping. Just try my hardest to make sure that everything is nice and even. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take this to the sewing machine. Now you're probably going to want to put your zipper foot on or something like that because you are going to be looks to be about a quarter of an inch to the edge of your um, zipper tab, so you're going to be pretty close. Um, I already have my zipper foot on, so it's no big deal, but <laughs> I'm going to start on this side because one, I'm left-handed, and two, the zipper foot that I've got on will work really well with this side. So I'm going to start here. We're going to need to make sure that you hang on to your thread and that you make sure that you backstitch really well because this is going to be constantly like pulled on. Um, just kind of go slow at that part uh, and make sure that your back stitching looks nice. You don't want them to look like garbage. So just kind of go forward a little bit, back stitch a little bit, forward a little bit, and then keep going all the way around. Um, I just found that it's just going to be pulled on a lot. You'll see when the next pieces go together. So I'm going to start here, go all the way down, and back up again, and I'm going to make sure that I back stitch at both of these spots. All right, so I have got gray thread on the top red thread on the bottom because I've got the gray fabric on top and then on the bottom is the red so hopefully I don't regret this we'll see <laughs> um, I have my stitch length to a four just so that it's not quite like super duper tight I don't want to like puncture this too much now we're just gonna go slowly forward slowly back because we don't want any kind of like nest or anything happening slowly forward now we're just going to follow that line 
all the way down. Now would be a really good time to roll all of this monstrosity up. All right, so we're gonna go forward, back a few stitches, and then forward. All right, so we have got our very first one. My snaps keep wanting to like close on me, so I'm gonna let them. But we've got our very first one, and as you can see, you have a pocket. You have a pocket. All right. So what we're gonna do is, so what we sewed is right here. You can see my gray stitches. I went back and did it again because it looked like crap. So I went back and did it again. This is the next one that we're working on. You see the zipper here and the next panel here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these two panels and I'm gonna put them together like this and lay them out. So I'm gonna lay them out just like I did the last one. I'm gonna clip down here at the bottom so that they'll stay still. I'm matching up the edges in the corners just like that so that we have the next bottom panel see that's a bottom panel not your card slot so your bottom panel and your card slot should be together okay just like you did with the last one we're gonna measure four and a half down and I'm just gonna make a mark right here one inch on that side and then just connect right there one inch on this side okay. so let me clip this together and then I'll show you all right so you've measured in one inch on this side down four and a half for the bottom and then one inch in on the edges you're gonna do this for all of your panels except for your back one um, so let's go do this one real quick I am changing my thread to all red now because both sides are red all right we're there so we've got all of it clipped up I've still got my stitch length at a four I'm gonna hang on to my threads when I start sewing so that it doesn't create like that nest in the back we don't want to see that on this bag you guys have worked too hard to see stuff like that on there all right, so I'm just getting my threads out of the way. I'm gonna very slowly backstitch. If you wanted to, you could clip these panels that are hanging, um, clip them together just so that they're out of the way and they're not like hanging off of your machine. It's up to you. All right, so pull your threads through, cut your threads, burn the ends, and then we'll go to the next step. So I'm trying for like a wide angle so you guys can see kind of what's going on. Because <laughs> I want you guys to be able to do this. I know it's a little complicated. So you've got your first panel that you sew together. It's You've got your zipper compartment. You've got the next one that we just did, okay? Now flip this material back with this laying down because you've got your two you've got your zippers lay that down the next one that we're going to be working on is the very next card slots um, so if whenever in doubt we're putting a bottom to the back of our card slot so that we make our pockets so I'm going to take and I'm going to pull this up and if it helps just go ahead and clip right there so you know what you're doing and what you're working on and everything will just kind of stay out of your way I'm probably going to remove these clips because it'll be really hard to measure one inch in if they're in the way. <laughs> but I just wanted you guys to see that this is what we're working on. This is going to be our third zipper pouch. So just pick it up, pull it back, and lay it down. We're going to do the same thing that we just did to the other ones. We're going to measure four and a half down, one in, one in. I like to clip them ah, more to the middle, to the center, and that way they're just not in my way when I'm trying to do everything else. All right, now I'm going to take our ruler and we're going to measure four and a half down from the edge of our fabric, not our zipper. Okay, and then I'm going to measure one inch in and meet that four and a half inch line. Like that. And then I'm going to measure another inch on the other side 
All right. So it should look like that. So we've got our one inch this way, one inch this way, four and a half this way. So we're going to start and sew it around like we just did. So we're going to make sure that we're hanging on to our tails of our thread. A few stitches forward, a few stitches back, and then go. Cut your thread. All right. Cut your thread, burn your ends and everything like that, and we'll work on the last pocket. What we've got so far is we've got our magnetic snap and one pocket, then another pocket, then another pocket. <laughs> now we've got our last pocket that we're going to be working on. The bottom of this one and the, the card slots of this one are going to be attached to each other. So we're just going to lift it up just like we did our last ones and kind of, I like to put that down behind it so that it will lay flat. We're going to take care of all of our edges. We're just not there yet. We're going to get there. We're just not there yet. All right, so I'm going to clip down at the bottom. Okay. Make sure it's laying nice and flat. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to measure four and a half down from the very, very top of your fabric. I moved you guys because I felt like there was such a glare on the screen and I don't know if that was any better. Let me know for future videos um, if this is better or if you want overhead with a glare. <laughs> Let me know because I'm not really sure. Alright, so one inch on this side just like you've been doing for the last forever and connecting your four and a halves. One inch on this side connecting at four and a half. All right, so we've got our other little box that we need to sew down. Let's go do it. All right, last one. Let's make sure we got plenty of thread to start off with. We still have four stitch length. Making sure that all this stuff is out of the way. It is not being sewn underneath of it. Your back panel should be right here with the card slots where you can see it. We don't want to sew over top of that. That would not be good. I want to make sure that these two ends are matching really, really well because that's going to come into play later on when we go to close up all of our little holes. All right, go ahead and do your threads, burn the ends, and then we'll do the next step. All right, guys. Yay, the hard part's done. <laughs> all right, so you should have your front pocket, another pocket, another pocket, another pocket, and then this panel that's kind of off alone by itself. This panel and this panel are how we're going to actually attach it to the main part of the bag. So we don't want to touch this anymore until we go to actually put it to the main part of the bag. The next thing that we're going to do is, I don't know the best way to show you this except for like maybe this way. So you've got your two, you've got your two pockets, right? You've got your zipper pocket that's inside of that. Now what we want to do is create our slip pockets. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the very first piece of fabric that's sewed together that's attached to our card slots and I'm going to bring it together with the bottom one right here. I'm just grabbing this one right here. I'm not grabbing the first one. I'm just grabbing this and this. And I'm going to put those together. This is how we're going to close the sides of our bag. Um, you know, you still have your openings in the side of your bag. This is how we're going to close them. So we're going to grab these two so that when you open your bag, we'll do both sides, one side at a time. But when you have both sides clipped, this is how you're going to kind of have like a slip pocket right there. It's going to open up like this. So we've got to do one side at a time. I hope that made sense and now you guys all feel better that we are actually going to close those up. <laughs> all right. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take this to the sewing machine and I find that right now 
I can lay it down like this and I can sew down the edge. We're going to be sewing with an eighth of an inch all the way around, all the way around, all the way on this side. We're not touching this bottom. We want to have that accordion action. And this is helping us get that. So let's go do that. All right. So we're going to be at the remain at the table for the remainder of the time because if I have to keep going back and forth, <laughs> it's a lot of work to move this camera around. All right. This panel right here is going to be in your way. So we're going to need to like fold that backwards so that we're not accidentally sewing on it. I still have my stitch length at a four. I've changed out my thread because you're going to be seeing the gray uh, the most. And I didn't want to put red because that would stick out like a sore thumb. So I'm going to go ahead and use my gray uh, four stitch length. What I'm going to do about an eighth of an inch at, at the edge. I cannot speak today. I'm going to start. And I'm going to get my thread, if I can. Ugh, nope. I'm going to get my thread out so it's not in the way. Okay. And then I'm going to backstitch. And this is a part that's really going to get a lot of wear and tear. So if you wanted to, you could go ahead and backstitch again. It's up to you. Okay. Down to the bottom, same thing. Go all the way to the end. Back stitch. All right, so I'm cutting them short so I can burn the ends. I'm gonna try and do this in one foul swoop. Now you can go ahead and do the opposite side if you want and just keep rolling like that. It's up to you. Um, so, in other words, you could go to this side if you wanted to, but I am just going to stick on this side so y'all can go together. Alright, very next one. So, we've got our first pocket together with our Weasley letter. We've got the side together. Now we need to take this panel right here and attach it to the next one. And you're going to need to make sure that all of this matches up. So you're going to have to pick it up, move it around, get everything out from behind it. So you've got the one that you just sewn. Now we're going to get to the next one. I hope this makes sense. I don't want you guys to struggle. Hopefully, hopefully it makes sense. All right, so we're going to do it again. <laughs> The only place I think you would struggle at if you were using a domestic is this, this spot right here because it's kind of thick. I don't know. Only you know the power of your domestic. All right, so that's done. So you can see this is our first pocket. We're leaving that alone. We're not doing anything with these things. All right, so we've got our next one, our next one. We're going to grab this one and the next one making sure that the tops and the sides are matching this is a great idea to get the easy side done first <laughs> the seam side is the one we're gonna have to do last that was great that was a great idea Faith. <laughs> okay. now you're gonna have this back panel and this one do not do those yet leave those alone so you're going to have uh, three of them sewn together just like that. Now we're going to have to turn this around and do the other side. I find it easier to just start from the back. <laughs> um, especially if I've done the other side, it's easier to start on the back. So I'm leaving these two alone. I'm not messing with them yet. I'm going to be grabbing this one. You probably want to burn your threads, or if you've got threads like sticking out, you probably want to do something with them. Okay, so not this panel, not this one, this one. You want to grab this, okay, and we're just going to clip them in place, okay, and then get everything out of the way. It would probably be easier to go opposite, so do the first left side and then go to the right side. It's just, it's up to you, whatever you like to do best. All 
Okay. After we got that one done, we're going to go to the next one. So the one right next door to it. Okay, so you've got the back panel that went for hiding this one. All right, we got this one and this one next. Make sure that nothing is underneath of you because you don't want to accidentally sew one that you didn't mean to. Now we're going to do the next one. If you'll notice that we're sewing an eighth of an inch away from the edge, that's closing up all of our openings. Okay. Now I see one that I might redo. Do you see how the seam allowance kind of popped out? I might undo that and, and redo it again just to make sure that that's not going to come out and be an issue. Um, but yeah, when you're going to clip these together, make sure that that seam allowance is on the inside and you're closing your bag up. The more pockets you sew together, the harder it gets. <laughs> it's like getting all tight on you when you're trying to sew it together. So you've got more in the way. Okay, so I'm going to go back and I'm going to fix this one right here. But your like accordion pockets and all are done. Now we're going to have to go grab the ribbon that we made and the back panel and lining panel.